Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining our webinar. We are very happy that you um, were able to uh, connect here today with us. I hope uh, you uh, have already your coffee with you and you are ready for us to, to show you the workflow for brokers with, uh, with Leon. Um, today, myself, my name is Anna and my friend Veronica will be showing you Leon. Uh, during this webinar, there will be uh, chats available. You will be able to chat with our team members. Our CTO, Paweł Szmaga, will be also answering your questions. So please feel free to ask <laughs> any, any, any information you would like to um, get. If there is a question that requires more explanation, we can always set up an individual call uh, after the webinar. To, to go through the functions with you. So, you know, it's not just a webinar, but also we are available um, after that. Um, and today, uh, also, let me tell you what we'll speak about. So first of all, we'll just show you how you can quote, how you can quote when you are contacted um, by your client, either by phone or by email, by WhatsApp, any other sort of um, connection, then how you to process with this sort of quote. Um, another workflow that also Veronica will show you will be the workflow with Avinode. How this goes, how you can find a subcharter aircraft with Avinode, how this um, integration works. Um, then also we will show you the bookings view. Uh, and very important part will be how you can manage your email templates and document templates. Um, this is a very, very cool feature Leon has and will allow you to set up your account and really make it more individualized with your logos and everything, but that will Veronica show you. And then uh, we will speak about reports. What are the reporting functions of Leon? And uh, at the end, we'll tell you what are the, our future development plans. So I hope that you are all ready to start and I will just give um, a chance to the Veronica to, to show you Leon and uh, begin the presentation. Thank you. Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, my name is Veronica and uh, I will show you uh, how to add the first quotation. But uh, at the beginning, please let me share uh, my screen with you. Okay, Anna, uh, please let me know if you see my screen. Yes, it is. It is. Uh, okay, visible. perfect. perfect. Okay, so we will start with uh, how to add a first quotation, but uh, at the beginning, I will mention our feature, the uh, airport directory. So Leon contains more than 8,000 airports in its database, uh, and we use uh, ASU Quick database. So uh, here you can find uh, a lot of uh, information. Uh, for now, I will choose Warsaw Shopping Airport. So, for example, you have uh, the opening hours of uh, the airport. So, um, this can be very useful uh, before creating a new quotation. For example, um, when you want to check if the fly uh, to chosen location is possible, taking into consider consideration the opening hours of the airport. And uh, these details are from ACU Quick, like I said, but uh, if, for example, you are sure that um, the airport is closed uh, and open in a different hours, you can change it. So uh, it will be um, saved for you and uh, you will have this information in here. Exactly. And what is also important, if uh, you uh, edit the information yourself, it will be showed as private, just as it is here on a, on a blue background, private. Uh, so it is just for you, this data. And uh, for example, like here, Veronica opened Warsaw, but of course, Warsaw is uh, closed um, during the night hours. So then you, you are able to, to uh, amend that uh, in the system. Uh, some of the airports, if you will open, for example, Farnborough or so on, it will be all already shown correctly from ACU Quick, but we always recommend uh, checking anyways uh, the hours. But it will be just an indication for you that there, there might be the airport might be closed at the time the client wants to fly there. Okay. Yes. And you can also check other uh, information like uh, handling agents or hotels and suppliers. So everything is here. 
Okay, so let's go to our sales uh, request quotes view. So uh, here you can find a list of your request quotes and uh, we have many filters here. So uh, for example, if you want to change those filters, you can edit those columns here. What, what kind of columns are important for you? And this uh, settings uh, apply for a locked person and will be kept after logging in and out. Mm, okay, so uh, we will try to add a new quote. So to add new quote, uh, please click here on new quote button. Uh, the first thing is to add your customer. We will add our test uh, client here. And here you have uh, all details of your customer. So you can provide uh, all these details and Leon will uh, remember it for the future and add it to your contact details to phone book. Yes, it is also important that you are able to select preferred handling agents, let's say this particular client has, uh, at individual airports. Uh, that's a cool feature that we've developed recently, but it will just, you know, make your service better for the clients because you remember, yes, what the client prefers at the particular airport. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and the next step is to select the uh, minimum category and other details. Uh, we will fly from Warsaw to Rome. For example, on Saturday at 10 a.m. with two passengers and create a quote. Yes, yeah, so this is a panel and uh, to create a quote manually, um, we need to click on create a quote and select aircraft, a subcharter. So uh, here you need to uh, provide some uh, other time and uh, date information. And here below you have a basic information of your uh, of chosen aircraft. Um, we will choose saved uh, aircraft already. So uh, when you first add this information, Leon will also remember that for you. So you don't need to provide the same registration each time. You will uh, have it saved. Mm, and uh, what is interesting that uh, this can be, uh, you can edit that. So if you want to change that, you can do it. You can um, add pictures uh, of, uh, of the aircraft and all the information. When it comes to the crew, you can add it later on. It's uh, always possible. Mm, what is also interesting that you can uh, add amenities here like Wi-Fi, ca cabin volume, baggage capacity, or type of the toilet. Okay, um, so here is uh, the operator's price. So you can provide it here. You can choose um, different currencies and add your margin. Also, if you uh, use a third party, you can add their commission here. And the final price will uh, will be visible here. And uh, the final price, only the final price, will be visible on the documents. So you don't need to put your margin. Of course, you can just add the total price that you want to receive. And that's it. It's very simple. Yes. And then Leon will calculate the margin based on the price. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. So basically, we have everything. Now we can uh, create a quote. So to do that, uh, we click on quote. And uh, this is the pop-up window for quotation. So um, you have your email template here. Uh, what is interesting that you can create as many email templates as you want. And if you have a lot of them, you can choose it from your dropdown. For now, we have only one. But for example, if you're from Germany and you have uh, German speaking customers, you can create um, the one template in German and send it to them. The same goes to the uh, documents. Uh, we have uh, the templates in Leon here. So for example, for a, qu a flight quotation, this is our template. 
this will be attached to your um, to your uh, quotation. But if uh, you want to have your own um, template, uh, you can do it. Also, I will show that later on. Exactly. And then also what is important yes, that on this template, uh, that on this particular template, you can, um, you are able to quote not only one aircraft, it is also possible to at the same time, let's say, quote with two or three aircraft from, and, and then send the client different options. Uh, and you can basically also do it with one click, which is, which is, which is quite nice. Um, so, so yes. Okay, Veronica, you can continue. <laughs> Okay, so uh, if everything is ready, uh, you can send the email with the quotation to your customer. Okay, so uh, now the quotation is sent and we are waiting for the answer. Uh, when we receive this answer, um, we can send a contract to our customers. So uh, this is basically the same uh, story. Um, like the, uh, the whole uh, email template is... Um, basically pretty much the same. You can choose again the email template, the document for, uh, for the uh, agreement and again send it to your uh, customer. And what is interesting in here, um, you can uh, we have this uh, DocuSign integration so uh, you, can, um, you can sign your document, your agreement with uh, DocuSign. Yeah. Okay, so if everything is ready, we can send um, the, the charter agreement to our customer. Okay, and uh, the next step is to book a, book a trip. So again, the same story. You have, uh, you have your email template here. Everything um, is here, so you can send um, and book booking to your customer and all of the emails that you send and also get replies to are displayed in leon that's a very yeah. good feature you are able to connect your mailbox um, and then all of the email correspondence with the client is in available in leon as you can see here veronica is an assignee so she is assigned to this particular quote but in a situation that let's say um, we have two employees working, Veronica and myself, and let's say today Veronica uh, is not uh, at the office, so I'm taking the quote, I can just assign myself or Veronica can assign me um, when she goes, let's say, on vacation and I take over. The advantage is that even if the emails are in Veronica's mailbox, I can still see them all here in Lyon, so I can just take over this quote and, and just uh, proceed with it. So, so that's the big advantage of having them displayed in Lyon. Maybe, Veronica, you can zoom a little bit um, down uh, so that just to show where the messages uh, part is. Um, yes, it's all here, so all of the messages will be available. Okay. Yes, but for now we're doing it live, so it's hard to reply for uh, for the contract and booking. But all the messages will be here on the on the messages side. And at any point, you can, for example, send this reply to customer. If you click on it, for example, now, uh, Veronica, this uh, reply to customer, this is on the top. Uh, yes, here there will be like different emails. You can, for example, send a follow up email. You know, you, you've sent a contract, you get no reply, so we can just send uh, also kind of like an um, email to to remind uh, the customer, you know, that, that you are kind of... Uh... Waiting for the answer, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so the next step is uh, the invoice part. Um, so again, you have the same pop-up window here. And uh, you can, uh, if you're using the um, some other accounting system, uh, you can uh, upload your invoice here. But what is interesting, you can create it uh, from Leon. So you have all your um, customer details here. You just need to provide some um, kind of a number. And uh, this is it. Mm. What is also interesting that we can uh, the, we can develop your own pattern. So, for example, if you have your own pattern for invoices, uh, our uh, IT guys can program it for you, so you don't need to provide these numbers uh, each time manually. 
And uh, again, so the Leon will, will every new invoice that you issue, Leon will just make the number higher. But of course, you can um, develop the template of the invoice in Leon uh, in the document manager. Uh, you can have uh, also more than one template. For example, if you need a different template for domestic invoices, you can have a, a different template, different for international uh, clients and so on. So, you know, this is just, again, a layout of the template that, that we provide, but this can be changed, adjusted to, to this, what you require. Yeah. And uh, what is also interesting, uh, you can uh, do a recharge invoice from Leon and uh, credit now. We know that it's uh, very interesting and there's a lot of need uh, from our customers about that. So, so it's possible to do it from, uh, from Leon. Yes, and we have also recently developed integration with Mirai. It allows Bitcoin payments. We already have some uh, clients uh, exploring that uh, possibility. So, you know, if, if you are open to receiving, uh, you know, Bitcoin payments, then this is already uh, available uh, with the Mirai integration. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, Leon will just uh, require every time, you know, you, you just start editing something and you don't send it, then Leon will just require Sorry. this document. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So again, we can, uh, we can send it to our um, customers. And the next step is uh, sending a flight brief. Mm. So you have your uh, email templates here. Here is attach our template of a flight brief, but of course you can attach your own that you received from the uh, operators. But for example, if you're not satisfying uh, with this flight brief from operator and you want to upgrade it a little bit, you can um, attach our flight brief and, uh, and send it to your customer. Yes, the flight brief will take data from the subcharter. Yes, uh, yes. The, the pilots you can add there. You can add details about the, the, the aircraft itself. You can also um, edit the cancellation policy, for example. So the, the document will be updated with, with this. Uh, but yes. And if there are more than one legs to the trip, you can send separate flight briefs bef before each leg if, let's say, those legs are spread apart in time. Yeah. Okay, so we can send it again to your uh, to our customer, and uh, this is pretty much it. If uh, if the deal is closed, we can uh, mark it as as a closed um, quotation. Okay, so uh, now I will show you the workflow with Avinode. I need to change uh, our environment for that. This is our environment, staging environment, like a test environment. Sometimes um, it's working a little bit different than the production version. Mm, yeah, but uh, I will show you. Okay. Unfortunately, it's a little bit slower, but you know, here yeah. we have uh, the also uh, test environment in Avinode connected. So that's the environment we can show you the integration. Okay. Yeah, so again, uh, we will go to um, request quotes panel and add a new quote. Choose the category and other details. Mm, maybe this will fly on Sunday mm, a little bit later and with um, more customers. Okay, yeah, sometimes it thinks uh, a little longer <laughs> than the production version. Yes, so uh, once this is created, um, Leon just takes a moment to... Uh, yeah, to, think. to think, yes, because this is yeah. the same thing as we, as we mentioned before. Mm, with production version is uh, very fast, but sometimes with the staging version um, it takes long. Uh, but um, but we can show you the Avinode workflow only on this version. Okay. Mm. 
Yeah, maybe I will try once again. Yes, maybe let's just do it once again. Oh, it actually works. So, <laughs> yeah. Yes, mm. yes, yes, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, worth, worth waiting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, so if you want to uh, do it, do your workflow with every note, you need to click on find subcharter and compare the price. And uh, before working with Avinode, you need to connect your uh, account uh, um, with Avinode. And in order to do it, you need to contact them and uh, receive the authorization key from them. But it's very easy um, and our support are always happy to help you. Okay, so this is this is your account uh, in Avinode. You have a lot of uh, details here. But uh, we will choose this uh, ones because this is our uh, also test operator. Okay, and we will send uh, the requests. We will refresh the page. And now you can see that uh, the uh, emails were sent and now we're waiting for the answer, uh, answer from uh, the operator. So I need to do it uh, very quickly uh, as an operator, but uh, for now, uh, Anna will show you um, this feature show statistics. Exactly, yes. So while Veronica is just logging into Avinode as an operator and accepting those <laughs> so that we can show you the, the rest of the workflow, I will show you this. This is a very cool feature because this is available for, for you to see exactly a particular client. Like here we have this test client and we can see how many times this client contacted us. We have here information 12 times. We quoted three times and this client never never bought um, from us. And then uh, we also see if the client asks uh, on the same route for, for a quote on the same route, we can see how much we quoted previously um, and if this was sold or not. And if other clients uh, ask for the same route, we also see the price and if it was sold or not. So. This is like a very good overview of the price. You will know if you, you know, you don't want to go lower than you quoted previously, let's say, and the client bought it, then you don't want to go lower with a price. There are, you know, many parameters here and you can easily check that. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, now the operator answered and we are ready to do the rest of the work. Maybe I will open um, the other window. Yeah, let's give it a try from a different different angle. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah. Now we have it. It no. needs uh, a little more time. Okay, so uh, now we have uh, our quotes here and we can see that uh, the operator agrees to um, two quotes and one was rejected, um, the red one. Uh, so now uh, you can see that all the details uh, are from Avinode. So you don't need to provide it. Um, everything is here. And the second uh, quotation. So now you can work with it. So you have the operator's price. Again, you can add your margin here. We will do it here also. Yeah. Mm, of course, even if uh, the details are from Avinode, you can change them. So if you want to change this. Uh, Cancellation policy, it's possible to do it. Or, yes, or upload different Edit pictures. pictures. Yes. Yeah. So, again, you can add uh, the amenities here. And what is interesting, the messages. Mm, here, you will have all messages from operators. So, if your operator use uh, Avinode chat, all the uh, messages will be here. So, you don't need to call them or check. You can just use it here and you have everything in Leon. Okay. Uh, so now you can uh, quote 
And what is interesting with this multiple quotation, you can uh, work on multiple quotation in here. So you can have, we have only two for now, but you can work with uh, as many as you want. And with sending those documents with quote and contract, you will have um, the uh, all the quotation in one place. So like you see, you have a lot of, uh, you have all your uh, quotation in here. So, this is pretty much it. The whole uh, workflow, the rest of the workflow is the same as uh, manual. And uh, we, we want to do it uh, again, but I will show you another interesting um, feature in here. Uh, so um, here in the right panel, we have ops and crew panel. And if operator agrees to share this information with you, you will see some information regarding handling, crew um, overflight permits and slots. And this feature uh, is only possible when uh, both you as a broker and operator use Leon Avinote, and Avinote to quote. Yeah, but it's pretty uh, convenient to see those, uh, those things. Okay, so and uh, now we will skip to um, our different view, our uh, bookings view. So uh, this is our bookings view. Uh, the bookings view is like a, a calendar view of your customers and the flights. Uh, the green color means that the flight is already booked. And uh, from this view, um, you can uh, either send a flight brief or edit a flight watch from here. So um, once selected, uh, the flight watch pop-up window uh, is uh, is here, and uh, we can provide the standard flight watch fields from uh, from here. But it's only for now; it's only available manually. But um, in a few months, uh, automatic flight watch information will be available by Euro uh, Euro Control integration. Okay, so now we will skip to um, other settings. Email templates. So you have your uh, email templates here. And what is um, interesting for brokers is sales documents email templates. So for example, um, a charter agreement. This is our template. So you can uh, edit this template. You can, you have the template in here but you can add it, um, some words in, uh, in Leon. For example. Um... Yes, and it's also important to mention that our support team can always help you do it here. Uh, they can help yeah. you uh, attach your logo, uh, select the fonts you would like to have. As you can see, this is uh, HTML. Basic one, yeah. So mm -hmm. It's possible to uh, to update that um, the way you would like to have it. And once you are happy with a particular template, it is also possible to uh, develop that in different languages. So you have more than one to select from. Yeah, so basically you can do whatever you want. Um, with IT skills, it's um, maybe easier, but we can always help you with that. And uh, as it also interesting is the recipients in here. So uh, in this tab, you can add default from and reply to email addresses as well as carbon copy and blind, uh, blind carbon copy. Okay. And of course, you can add uh, as many templates uh, as, as you want, yeah? Yes. Uh, also, you are able here to set your default uh, takeoff um, landing template, take takeoff and landing two different templates that Leon can automatically send uh, based on the flight watch information. Yeah. So there, there, this can be automatically received by your client or let's say client's PA um, when the aircraft takes off or lands. Uh, those emails can be also configured here um, and, and auto sent. Yes. So this is pretty much it when it comes to email templates. Another uh, cool feature uh, in Leon is our document manager. So um, here you have a list of our templates, uh, of our document templates, and uh, you can add your own template 
but I will show you how to um, manage and edit um, our uh, our templates. So you have a body here, um, and this is maybe um, not looking easy right now, but uh, this is HTML language. So um, so if you have some kind of uh, IT team or uh, HTML specialist it will be pretty easy for them to uh, to manage or create a new new uh, template for you but if you want to work uh, with uh, our templates and change a little bit it's also not a problem i'm not an it specialist and uh, i will try to change something for you mm. so for example the text is always black, so uh, it's easy to find uh, the text in this HTML language. So, for example, we change um, the cancellation fee. For now, it's 10%, but I would like to change it to 20. You can preview that and uh, the uh, text will be changed on the document. And again, uh, if you don't uh, like our template or you have your, your own, you can uh, contact our support team and we will try to manage those documents for you. Exactly. I mean, there can be more than one picture of the aircraft. It, it yeah. can be changed. And also what is important here, as you can see, you can have like default cancellation policy. But for each subcharter, you are able to uh, provide, let's say, different cancellation policy that the operator has. And then this default cancellation policy will be replaced with the one that you um, just added for this particular subcharter. So, you know, there are quite a lot of uh, possibilities with the documents and our support team can always help you manage this. Yes. Okay. Okay. So this is pretty much it. Uh, and so from now on, Anna will take over with the reports. Exactly. So in a second, so when Veronica yeah, will stop, stop sharing, sharing, I will share mine and just give me a moment. You should see the screen in a second. Uh, can you see that? Yes, yes. Okay, brilliant. Um, so we are back in the sales um, um, request view where you can see all of the quotes, the ones that also Veronica was, uh, I mean, was showing you this view. But I wanted to show you first the ability that you are able to add tags to a quote and as many tags as you want to to each quote. And for example, here, you can decide that you would like to just tag quotes uh, for depending where they come from. Uh, is it WhatsApp? Is it email? Is it phone? Later on, this can be used uh, for reports. So I will just give you such an example so we will have it. For example, here we can say, okay, this was, uh, you know, th this was email contact, so we can use the email tag. Um, if you want to create a new tag, it's also very easy. You just, for example, I, I'm just clicking phone. There are no results, so it means this is a new tag. I'm just clicking enter, and then I can select the color. I would like to have, for example, yellowish. Okay, great. So now also the phone tag is available. It's very easy. Once you define it, it's available for, for later use. Um, and you can easily then mm, just select uh, the ones that you would like to see um, and uh, add this. Once you have this listed, you are able to go to report. Let's say now, of course, there are many ready-made reports in Leon. You will find some of them interesting, but I want to focus now on the report wizard that helps you build all of the reports you would like to see. Uh, for example, you, um, you are able to build reports. I will show you some examples of reports that we already have. For example, you may have a report about conversion by a salesperson. Uh, it means that, for example, if you have more team members working in the sales teams, you can just see you know how how many times each person quoted how many times uh, you know it, it was successful and then you have a conversion rate per person there can be graphs it can be pie charts different types of graphs those are just examples but but to give you an, un, an understanding mm, so this is one uh, one of the available reports but let me show you now how you can build a brand new report that you would like to have. For example, you just add a report, you want to focus on quotes and from the sales perspective, for example, and you create this. 
the report automatically will have some columns uh, that are done by default, but you can always open the edit function and just rearrange the columns. So for example, first requested by, this can be the most important uh, information. You want this to be first. Then you can also add columns. For example, I want to add column tags. And then the column shows here. You are able here also to select the period of time you would like those uh, mm, information to be displayed. For example, I want to see uh, January and February. And here you can see that because I added tags, already the tags are shown here. So I can see, okay, those are the tags, you know, the, the contacts coming by email, by phone, by WhatsApp. But then on the filter side, you can go even dip, deeper. And let's say you want to have, okay, I want to include tags and I want to include tag email. Mm, okay, I think it's, um, I think I need to capital, yeah, block letters, okay. Here we go. So now we will have, we see that in the period, you know, from the 31st January until the last day of February, of course, this is kind of like happening now, <laughs> the, 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 this, the, um, the, this month, basically. But we can see that right now we have two quotes coming by, by emails. Yes. Um, you know, this is just the potential, but you are here able to build any type of uh, report you would like to have. And our support team can always help you. So if you have any reporting needs, you can just contact us and we'll be happy to help you with that. What is also interesting, you can share the reports um, with a link that is available here. Of course, you can all export them to Excel or CSV, but share them with a link for business intelligence uh, programs. So there are um, programs that can later on process the data and give you even some more insights into your business. All of the reports have ability to have a sending schedule. So for example, if I have a report about invoices here created, I can send a sending schedule and I may say, okay, I want this report to be sent every day at a selected hour, let's say 11.30 Zulu to our accounting uh, department. And you can provide here the emails of the accounting department and also use an email template that you built previously. For example, saying, okay, please find the invoices that were uh, issued in the last 24 hours, for example. Yes, yeah? so, so the accounting team will have uh, a quick um, access to this data, not even needing to log into Leon, or they, you can still um, um, give them Leon access if you, if you need to, and then they can also uh, see this information right in Leon. So this is more or less the report, of course, uh, every one of you will have different reporting needs, so you can always contact us. We'll be happy to, to develop the reports for you. Uh, what uh, I want to tell you now are our future plans, because uh, what we want to do um, in, in the near future is to add um, a link for brokers. This link will allow um, operators to share to, to be shared with brokers. Uh, not Even if you are not Leon user, if you don't have account with us yet, you may contact the operators that use Leon and ask them, okay, can you provide me a link? And this link should be made available by the end of February. And it will give you an insight on the preparation status of the flight. What are the handling agents? What are other suppliers? Are you know Is everything uh, prepared for the flight? And the operator will be able to give you like the link per trip. Yeah, so that's that's an interesting feature. Um, another in thing that is uh, that we have in stock for you are the um, movement information from Eurocontrol. This movement times will auto populate Flightwatch as Veronica was showing you on the bookings view, and then it can automatically send the takeoff and landing report to the. Um, to your client. And this information is quite uh, quite nice. Right now, we have this feature available for operators and they love this function. So I'm pretty much sure that you will also like it a lot. But now we want to also make it available for subcharter aircraft. And that, that will be this what, what you have um, 
and you will will be happy to 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 kind of help you set this up show you how this works once this is available and again this feature should be available uh, within um, the next uh, two months uh, and then our next plan for brokers is to allow brokers to share passenger data with operator the idea is that you are collecting passenger data. We already now have a functionality where you can upload passenger document, like let's say passport. And from this document, Leon will uh, build the profile of the passenger. Um, so you are collecting the data. You know, for example, the, what are the allergies of the passenger, this, this and that. It's a lot of function, a lot of features that you can feed into Leon. And then this data, will, you will be able to share it with an operator. And that's uh, something operators will really look forward to because that's the, you know, the data they, they, they are waiting uh, always uh, impatiently to get from, from your side. And what we also would like to underline is that you know, when you use Leon, you use the same, exactly the same system as more than 300 operators now. And it means that, you know, all of the data sharing uh, that we want to develop and is already available is instant. I mean, you, you are basically like, you know, next room to the operator. You are just, you know, with them in the same software, the same environment. So it gives like a very big advantage. There are no delays. There are no integrations. So whatever data is shared between you and the operator, it just goes, you know, in a flash. It, it's, it's instant. So we hope that we will be able to develop more features that will just, you know, make your workflow with operators even better. And that's that's our hope for the future. Veronica, would you like to add something? Um, no, I think that you covered everything. OK, perfect. So uh, guys, thank you. Thank you once again for being here today with us. We will be staying on the chat. So if you have any more questions to ask, we will be happy to answer them. I know that our team already um, you know, was 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 available, so you know that uh, the, some of the questions um, already you might have found an answer to. But we'll be happy to to stay with you a little bit longer, and you know, feel free to contact us with anything that you would like to know. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye bye.